Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we are looking at one of the beers. It's probably one of the most requested beers I've gotten in a long time from a relatively new brewery out of South Carolina. This is from Westbrook Brewing. This is their Mexican Cake Imperial Stout. Coming in at 10.5% alcohol by volume, it's an Imperial Stout aged on cocoa nibs, vanilla beans, cinnamon sticks, and fresh habanero. So maybe it's supposed to mimic uh, a mole sauce or something to that effect. Again, this is one of those beers that's making a lot of waves in the craft beer community. A lot of people are seeking out Westbrook's brewing some really killer beers. They're brewing a lot of beers uh, with Evil Twin, their uh, Goza. Uh, it's one of those most sought after styles, you know, that's coming back in cans and everything. So looking forward to this. Got to give a big thanks to Matt for trading this one for me. Let me get into a glass so you guys know it smells, tastes. Give the final verdict on the Westbrook Mexican cake. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Mexican cake. Uh, big chocolate, big, big roasted malt. Definitely getting the cinnamon, the green pepper skin. A little bit of a sweet vanilla in there. Big, big toasted uh, malts in this one. A little bit of dark fruit. Yeah, it's a really, really intense smelling beer. All right, guys, so the taste on the Mexican cake. Cheers. Wow. Wow, right at the front of the tongue. Massive, massive chocolate. I mean, it's like biting into a, a dark chocolate bar. I get lots of cinnamon in there as well in the middle of the mouth. Wow, big espresso, uh, coffee type of flavors in there. A little bit of vanilla, a little bit of sweetness. I get a subtle heat from the habanero pepper. Very, very subtle, not overwhelming at all. And it's actually making the cinnamon come out a little bit more. You get a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of herbal uh, kind of quality, a little bit of herbal sweetness in there uh, from the cinnamon. Lots of roasted characteristics in this one. It's a big, chewy, imperial stout. Uh, that habanero, the heat's kind of adding to the to uh, kind of accentuating, again, the cinnamon, a little bit of the alcohol sweetness in there as well, the vanilla beans kind of dialing back some of the, the cinnamon, the cocoa, just the, the chocolate really just kind of enveloping the mouth, coating the mouth with this big chocolatey, sweet velvet goodness in the aftertaste. Pretty sweet in the aftertaste, more chocolate, more coffee in the aftertaste. Again, a little bit of a subtle green pepper, pepper skin type of flavor in there, but very, very subtle. Not, not like habanero sculpt or anything like that. Not really hot at all. It's a really, really well-balanced, but ever-changing, but intense drinking beer. Awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Westbrook Mexican Cake Imperial Stout. They release it once a year. It's out now, basically, I think it's in South Carolina. Only 10.5%, guys, this one is getting an A. Really glad I got to try this. Um, there's so much going on in this beer and it all comes together to form a really cohesive beer. I love the cinnamon in this. I don't know that I've ever had cinnamon in an Imperial Stout. It just brings so much kind of, it just brings a whole nother level to the beer that you shouldn't think, you wouldn't think that it would. It kind of makes the, the other, the vanilla, it kind of makes the, the habanero pop a little bit more. Almost adds like a fruitiness to it. Nice spiciness to kind of counteract some of the chocolate, some of the darker malt. It's just, again, a very, very complicated beer, but it all works. It's a really, really well-crafted beer. And they do do barrel variations of this. They have a whole bunch of different barrels they have for those beer in. And I think the brewery release only. So if you can get those, definitely try those as well. This is an awesome beer. Getting an A for me. And remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.